So a huge thank you to Joe for joining us today. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast, Joe. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, so Joe and I met um, because I actually heard Joe on another podcast um, by the wonderful Catherine Morgan. And I remember just getting this feeling in my belly and just thinking, who is this woman? And what is she talking about? Because it just it just done something to me the way that something does when it's spiritual and, and you connect with it, but you don't understand why. And so I remember just finding you and having a taster session with you which we'll talk more about soon and finding out my numbers and I have been addicted ever since um, and the knowledge that you've given me has truly changed how I'm running my business and how I'm um, looking after myself each month so thank you so much for the time that we've spent together it's been amazing and something I would highly recommend people do even if you're not a business owner um, so I want to start by talking about what is numerology, what is bizology. So you are the owner of bizology. What what actually is it for people that have never heard of it before? So thank you for that amazing introduction. So bizology helps you use the power of numerology to elevate your business success. And numerology is an ancient esoteric science that it that is as old as the hills, but is as new as the next decision that you're going to make. So astrology looks to the stars, numerology looks to numbers. So numerology has been used um, by the Egyptians, by Pythagoras was the godfather of numerology, Nero, Plato, it's in the Bible, the Kabbalah. But it's also, but it's, it's intrinsic to life. Numbers speak and their language is numerology. Nothing happens in life without numbers. You know, they're magic, they're deep, they're cosmic, they're fundamental of form. So when we understand who we are from a numeric point of view, we can stay in our lane and do things our way. There's no mistakes. And then align to who we're meant to be. Life isn't easy, but we make it more difficult. We're here to learn and we can see what we're here to learn in our numbers. Life is a school. Every home at the moment is a school. <laughs> but life is a school and um, we're here to learn and we can see what we're here to learn. So I'm really passionate about explaining that bizology is a way of understanding and appreciating who you are as a business owner, as a businesswoman, as a businessman. And then from that place, you can move forward mm -hmm. in alignment with your numbers. It's like a missing piece of you is it becomes visible. You can understand why things weren't working out mm -hmm. before. You can really align to your strengths. You can really appreciate who you are and what you're here to do. You can open up your eyes and operate your business in a unique way. You can do things at your pace because there's better years and easier years to do things. Yeah. You can really optimize your business success and build it to its full capacity. You know, it's good if you're setting up your business, if you're reshuffling your business, if you're up leveling your business, it helps you make better business decisions, but it helps you you make better business decisions for your business. And a lot of business coaching is, let me show you how to make six figures. Let me show you how to make seven figures because I've made it and I can help you. But they've done well because they've done it in alignment with who they are at yeah. some level. They've done it in alignment with their numbers. So it's important that we do our business in alignment with our numbers. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And and for me, when you did my numbers, it was it really was life changing because I felt understood and any human being just wants to feel understood. And you you spend your whole life trying to work out why do I do things this way? Why am I built this way? Why do I think differently to these people? And you came along, you'd never met me before and you told me who I was, how I operate, what drives me based on my date of birth and all the numbers that that kind of gives me. And 
it made everything okay. So I'm a 22. Um, so for those of you who don't know what your number is, we'll tell you a bit more about that later. And a 22, um, not to take words out of your mouth, Joe, but it's it, they're people that like to do a lot of things at the same time. And just as they reach one goal, they've already got their heart yeah. set on another and are climbing that mountain to that. And I've always been told, you do too much like why are you never happy why are you never satisfied and that's always made me think why am I what's wrong with me but it wasn't a dissatisfaction it was a driving force and you allowed me to kind of be okay with that and that that settled that for me and and has allowed me to build my business at the pace that is right for me and so yeah I'm hugely grateful for that and it is so interesting to find out more about yourself and so yeah, that all resonates um, massively. So for those of you who are out there, um, yeah, you need to get your numbers done for sure. For sure. Um, so, mm-hmm. so that tells people a little, about, a little bit about what numerology and bizology is. So how do you use this information to help people? What do you do with business owners to help them use their numbers? So you're here to do a job I can't do and I'm here to do a job you can't do and that job is found in your numbers. So the main number we look at in numerology is the life path number. Mm -hmm. So like you've just explained, you're a 22, the architect of change. You cannot change your date of birth. You can change your name. When you change your name, you change your life. But you can't change the fact that your date of birth like mine is the 4th of the 4th, 1973, I can't change that. So what we do is we look at your life path number, first of all, that's 75% of what's going on in business. It's also called your destiny number. I don't use that because it sounds a bit weird, but it's what you're destined to do. It's what your life path is here for now we are the negative of our numbers so when we stop doing the negatives then the positives flow so like the negative of the energy of the number 22 is mind set you can be hypercritical of yourself ego will kick in and 22 needs to be activated you need to know that you're a 22 otherwise two and two is four and you end up working in four structure control routine and system we don't want that we want you to be a 22 so there's lots of 22s out there who are not being 22 they're working the in the energy of four no judgment and life isn't working out for them they feel a massive part is missing they know they're available for more because 22s can see more be more and do more than any other number they're here to change the world one person at a time they're here to leave a legacy but they but that they're frustrated so what i do is show you who you are at soul level so things start to fall into place so things start to make sense so you can build the business from your superpowers so you're under you're aware of your superpowers so you're aware of you know who you are and what you're here to do so i'm working with the energy of the number one it's all about independence it's all about um entrepreneurialism it's all about innovation it's all about doing things differently like bringing numerology into business however I wasn't being very one at all I was being very two which is helping everybody else run their business being the power behind the throne and life wasn't working out for me so since I've aligned to my energies then guess what life is working out I feel more alignment in my relationship in my life with my relationship with other people with my relationship with my clients my relationship with my family with my relationship with self I have healed my um like past and really really brought in like so much success and wealth into my business that um and I'm not showing saying this to show off I'm I'm saying it to show up my last year's um profit was higher than the sales the year before and that is how powerful it can be when you align to what you're here to do yeah so I've been doing this for myself for about four years but um now I help other people and I've been doing that for about two and a half years so I know the negative of one can be a bit 
people pleasing. I was doing that. The negative of one can be a little bit self doubt. I was doing that. The negative of one can be codependent. I was doing that. The negative of one in the extreme can be really selfish. I was at times, right? So because I know that, I can stop doing those things and I can align myself to move forward. Does that, that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think um, at this point, people will be thinking, what number am I? What are the negatives and positives of yeah, my number? Yeah. And, and how can I find out? Because um, no matter if you believe in this stuff or not, if you're woo or you're not, there is a, a, a just an innate curiosity when you find out information like this. It's like reading horoscopes and people that don't believe in it, they still read it and wonder. Um, so, and you can't argue with the facts. So once somebody has a session with you, they will not walk away going, whatever, it's a load of rubbish. Anyone who I've showed them how to do their numbers goes, oh my gosh, this is so me. That's crazy. How do I find out more? So um, I want to just let people know, obviously, to head to the show notes so that they can find out what their number is. And to do that now, ready for you to kind of give us a bit of an overview as what as to what each number means in a nutshell, because I know you do full sessions for each number. So it's not as simple as just you know, listening to this, and then you'll know everything you need to know. Um, so if you just head over to the show notes, it that will show you how to calculate your own life path number, which by the way, is just a snippet of what numerology means for you and your business. Even when you started your business that date, the business name, um, it all means something. And Jo can impart her knowledge on that. Um, if you work directly with her and what's so great is is the, the way you look after us after as well because on my birthday you reminded me of what year I'm going into although I was very aware of it and um <laughs> and also just with decisions in my business such as this podcast I came straight to you and said what is the best month for me to launch this podcast um based on my numbers and and so you do get so much value because then that that led to me planning it to be released a lot sooner than what I anticipated and being okay with that decision. So it is very powerful and it's very impactful. Um, so let's just imagine everybody's paused the podcast now and worked out their life path number using your guide that will pop in um, to the show notes. Um, what does this number mean for them? I know you do put it in there in, in a nutshell, but I, I still listen to um, you describing each number because you describe it so much better than reading it so yeah. are you able to do that and just go through the numbers for us yeah of course of course so um so if i'm born on the 4th of the 4th 1973 so if you are really good at maths you just add 4 plus 4 plus 1973 that gives you 1981 so 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 1 is 19 that is 10 and that is 1 so if, if you're not that good at, at quick maths like that then it's best to go to my free guide on my home page which um sarah's going to give you the link to the um my oh can we get rid of this bit <laughs> just clap just clap and then Kat, I was watching you unravel then thinking she's gonna she's gonna unravel because she's just gone to say Catherine and she's gonna be going oh no oh no I just went to say <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. I was going to let you just carry on. People wouldn't have realised, but I'll clap and I have to wait 10 seconds, just so you know. Yeah. What was, what was you saying? Oh, they're about the numbers. Nine, 10. So, um, so Sarah will put the link to my free guide and then, um, you know, you can have a look there. But basically... These are the life path numbers. It goes a lot deeper. This is 75% of what's going on. But it's like saying, you know, that um, I'm Aries and Sarah is a Capricorn. It goes a lot deeper than that. Um, the fact that I'm born on the 4th has an impact. The fact Sarah is born on the 24th has an impact. But let's look at the life path number now. So looking at the energies of the numbers... If you're working with the energy of the number one, 
like Stormzy, like Lady Gaga, like Joe Soli, you are your brand, all right? You will hate being told what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you will need support in business, but you, you're here to be entrepreneurial. You're here to be innovative, original, dynamic. You have to be self-employed. Working for somebody else will not work. You're here to, you can't be a number one out the gates. You know, it is that energy, okay? So that is the energy of the number one. The energy of the number, two, we call it the leader. The energy of the number two is the sensitive. So you're not the number next to you. So one is leadership energy. Two is more sensitive energy. So the energy of the number two is... Um, Julie Andrews, Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Aniston, uh, Barack Obama, right? They're very good at seeing both sides of the story. So it's it's brilliant in terms of um, being the power behind the throne. It's intuition, it's balance, it's flow. It's, it's not the one energy, it's more about collaboration and team and group and, and it is very intuitive. So we do want to look after your environment. We do want to look after you. It's more sensitive. We're in the energy of the 2000s now, but it can be the terrible twos, which we're seeing play out. So the energy of the three, the life path three, is the communicator. So this is Gary Barlow, Kylie Minogue, Queen Victoria, Kate Middleton. They're here to put their word into the world. So it is all about communication. It's all about um, creativity. It's all about imagination. It's all about um enthusiasm if I have my way when I go into companies everyone in sales and marketing would be working with the energy of the number three all right so three is all about um they're good they're not meant to work really 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 hard they're meant to work really 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 smart so three is about having a good time it's about um fun loving sociable then we've got the energy of the number four, which is about structure, control, routine, and system. And four is um, about building. Now, we don't have any famous fours. I'm born on the fourth of the fourth. I can be a little bit of a dub with a bone. So four, we've got four fingers, four seasons, four directions, four elements, four chambers of our heart, four chambers of our brain. You know, four keeps us organized in life, but four can say, no, you can't break the rules with four. There's nowhere to hide with four, all right? Sarah's currently in a year four, which is another layer of, of my work. I'm in a month four. So it's like anything with regards to um, health or wealth or, you know, you can't speed or you can't get, um, you can't break the rules. <laughs> mm, unfortunately. <laughs> and then the five is the adventurer. So this is Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Uh, five is the adventurer. So this is about Beyonce, Cameron Diaz. Five is um, Russell Brand, Mick Jagger, J.K. Rowling. So this is about freedom, adventure, change, expansion. So five is all about um, movement and growth. Um, fives can't fake it till they make it. If they don't want to do something, they won't be able to do it. They've got to be busy, but the right kind of busy. So five is about moving forward. They were the girls at school who were, or the boys who were good at everything. It's kind of jack of all trades, master of none. It is about freedom. You'll probably at the moment be struggling the most in lockdown. Six is like Zoe Ball. She loves her um, listeners and Karen Brady. She bought a football club because six is about community and tribe, running a business from your values. It's about love. It's about connection. It's about family. So sixes are all about, um, you know, love and groups and helping people and community and and in a personal year six, not much happens outside the home or you might meet somebody. But in our business, six is all about um, growing an audience, creating a tribe. 
Sarah's born on the 24th, which is a six approach. Sixes are actually good at really understanding what um, how other people are feeling. That's a very six MG. And lots of famous uh, businessmen like Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett are sixes. They're very, they're very good at business um, because they can understand how people feel. It's the justice number as well. It's the legal number. Um, so that's the nurturer, the six. The seven is the seeker. So seven is all about learning. It's information, it's seeking, it's asking, it's questioning, it's analyzing. Seven is um, the odd one out. They're meant to be the odd one out. They're different. They need space. You can't rush them. So it, Winston Churchill was the six. Stephen Hawkins, the queen. You can't rush the queen. She does things in her time. Princess Diana, Marilyn Monroe, Ryland Clark Neal, lots of famous people are sevens um because they do you know they're different they're meant to be different they can overthink and they can overanalyze eight is the boss the ceo so it's about success and wealth and money and in hong kong they pay more to have eight in their phone number or on their door number or on their number plate wow. Um, eight is Usain Bolt. So even though he's a bit funny and quirky, it's goal setting, you know, he always nails it. Eights nail it in business. They're brilliant at goal setting. They know what to do. Nelson Mandela was an eight and he said, didn't he, um, if I stay in prison, then I'll always be in prison. So when I leave prison, I'm going to leave it there. So that's like a very executive energy. We call it the CEO. It's also the boss. It's similar it's similar to one, but one's more entrepreneurial. Eights are good at taking existing structures and making it better. So it's money, success, wealth. It's kind of this sovereignty, royalty, putting a crown on, not lording it over other people, but bringing other people up to your level. Nine is the humanitarian. It's about um, love, caring, kindness, helping other people. Nine is two energies so you've got Gandhi and Mother Teresa which is old school isn't it with regards to um you know that charity philanthropy loving caring kindness but you've also got big characters like Robbie Williams and Adele um, Boris Johnson is a nine is a big character um so nine is about and Greta Thunberg, actually. So nine's about helping other people. They need to make their life about other people. And then from that place, they make it about themselves. Loving, caring, kind energy. We have then, we go to master numbers, which is 11 and 22. 11 is the spiritual teacher. 22 is the architect of change. 11 is um, very very rare there's more people with 11 life path being born now now because we've got the two in the 2000s so it gives us that extra digit when we make the calculation but 11 is about god theorems it's a light it's cosmos and um, the source energy the universe divine energy it's inspirational there's not many of them but it's mo farah so you can see like where that plays out. It's uh, Prince William. It is Steph McGovern, Rachel Riley. They work with numbers. They're clever. So it's a big deal. It's very inspirational. But they have to check themselves before they wreck themselves because it is a very, very, um, it is a strong energy. Then we've got um, 22s like Sarah so 22 is the architect of change right this is a big deal 22s need grit they need stamina none of um, fe their fellow 22s had it easy so it is like um, Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle, Richard Branson, Bill Gates, Bono, Bob Geldof, they make a massive, massive, tremendous impact on the world. 
like him or not like him, Donald Trump's working with the energy of the number 22. And that's why he struggled to step down, because he kind of, you know, does what he wants. It hasn't been great for him lately. But 22s can see more, be more and do more. They are here to change the world one person at a time. They're meant to be unorthodox. They can do a lot more. They can see things quicker than other people, even when they were younger. They are here to create like big structures in the sky. They will need money in order to do that. They need support. They need team in order to do that. 11 is a light. 22 is a fire. So they can scupper themselves. They can take a sledge hammer to situations and make them worse we don't want that we want them to be able to move forward we want them to be able to you know do what they're here to do we don't want them in two plus two is four structure control routine and system we want them using that 22 energy changing the world one person at a time because that's what they can do that's what they're here for it's amazing so yeah that's an overview view of the numbers so does any questions on that does that make sense no that makes perfect sense and, and I remember just yeah listening to that before um, on on Catherine's podcast and just thinking I need to find out what number I am immediately um, and then of course I found out so much more that there's so much more than your life path number because obviously not all people that are eights are the same my dad is an eight and my husband and they're very different personalities but then when I found out what their other numbers were surrounding that I could totally see them and um, it just makes for a wonderful conversation I think as well to just really want to understand another human being and and really understand sort of how they work and how what their negatives are as well so that you can also work on that for yourself um so for me if I notice myself overworking that's something I'm aware of that's a negative of my number and so I can catch myself and be like oh yeah I'm doing that again I need to kind of okay I need to kind of rein it in and give myself a bit of time um to look after myself so it's it's so important and I think right now with everything that's going on we're um we're kind of stuck with ourselves you know there's less to distract us from whatever our stuff is that's inside us and so that's why a lot of people I do think are struggling with that lack of distraction and lack of places to go to lose themselves in means that they have to kind of listen to what's going on for them in their own minds Um, and that's not easy for everybody so hopefully I'm hoping by putting this episode out there now it's going to help people turn that discovery into a positive um with obviously your help and and the help of the numbers i mean we do a different kind of number game in the mortgage mum but it's all linked isn't it so um <laughs> every time i get yeah. a new mortgage mum, i'm like let me work out your numbers for you and let's just see how i can manage you and look after you so if you're a manager you don't own a business it's just useful to know it's like you get to know your partner that much better you get to know your friends so um do kind of be open-minded to it and lean into it um because it's it is a really interesting process um so joe at the moment obviously you're you're working with business owners aren't you to to really try and help them run their businesses more effectively can you tell us a bit more about that because i do think it's something that more business owners should be aware of and to just help them because it's hard to run a business yeah definitely so i'm really um conscious now that bizology is about understanding who you are as a business person and then from that place moving forward so um i show everybody their life path number but like you said it goes deeper there's more numbers around that so in in five numbers i am the leader the builder the boss, the humanitarian and the architect of change, whereas Sarah in five numbers is the architect of change, the nurturer, the humanitarian, the builder and the adventurer. So that so just knowing, you know, saying like I said before, one numbers like knowing your star sign, it goes a lot deeper than that. So we are the negative of our numbers. It helps us understand um 
where not to be. It helps us give other people a break as well. Um, but we also work in nine year cycles. So once I've looked at your energy from your date of birth, which you cannot change, we then look at your personal year because I'm currently in a three year, which is doing loads of podcast interviews, you know, master classes, talking, speaking. And um, Sarah's just left her three years. She's in a four year, which nothing happens quickly. Structure, control, routine and system. You can't break the rules. So when you know the energies of your personal year, we look at personal months, days of the week. It goes a lot deeper. Then it's game changing using cosmic currents and planets to move forward. We also look at your name. Your name isn't who you are. It's who you look like you are. And then people treat you like that. And then you behave like that. We also look at your soul urge. What does your soul want from your business? And when you say soul urge, it sounds a bit woo. But when we apply it to like in business, using my 25 years experience in business, then that's when we can move forward. So we look at your business because your business is alive. It's got its own Akashic records. It attracts and it repels like you attract and you repel. So then we can move forward from that place so everything has an energy so we we kind of look at the energies so it's it's are you it's very intuitive as well um if you are going to google be careful because a lot of what comes up and um, and google isn't right <laughs> but it is very intuitive and i work in one-off sessions i work in four, four or five sessions but what i'm doing at the moment is working deeper with people so like three months that you can work with me on on a, a deeper journey but I have bite-sized books you can buy and masterclass you can sign up to and on my website I've got free guides that you can work out your life path number like we explained before it's amazing and I think it's so nice that you do a bit of both as well like giving some free value um but yeah there's no doubt about it it's addictive so I'm sure you'll have lots of people <laughs> signing up to the to the one-on-one -on -one service because there's nothing quite like it and it's just a different kind of business coaching it's a different kind of take on it it's intuitive and factual um and there's also those elements of normal business coaching and I'm a huge believer in being coached I, I think most successful business people have a coach they may not talk about it they may keep it under wraps but they do have that support um, and accountability and it is so important so um thank you so much joe um i just want to actually just reiterate what joe said about google because having discovered numerology i went straight onto google and it confused me completely um because the calculators were totally different to to how you have explained to us to calculate so all i'd say is don't don't bother with google <laughs> just head over to the guides otherwise you just confuse yourself um but that being said, when you talk about personal years and stuff, there is some good information that you can pick up. Um, but yeah, trust the experts. It's like trying to, you know, wing someone else's job. You know, you, know, you should talk to the people that know exactly what they're talking about um, rather than just... Yeah, because otherwise you'll think you're a four, but you're a 22, or you'll think you're 11, but you're a 22. And exactly. um, can, can I just add, when we had your sessions, because... Um, I don't know if you if you know, but Sarah was on the voice. So what we did, we looked at um, people, at the judges. So we looked at um, Will I Am. We looked at Jennifer Hudson, <laughs> and I they did. were both twenty twos, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it was. Yeah. It was, yeah, and those were obviously it. the people that I connected with and worked closest closest with at the time. So um, that yeah. was amazing. It was just it was just amazing experience, and it was through the last lockdown, so it really helped me. Um, and I've made yeah. lots of positive decisions since then. So, yeah, I really hope this helps other people to kind of be aware because half the time people just don't realise it's out there. So if you're listening, this might be the sign. Um, for you to try and find out a bit more about this stuff and find out a bit more about yourself in the process which is what we're here to do so um, thank you so much Joe, for sharing your time and knowledge with us today 
and um oh, you're welcome yeah I'm really excited for people to yeah find out more and work more closely with you I did want to talk to you about how you even got into this and everything but I've seen the time and we've just obviously sp- spoke for ages already um so perhaps we'll have to get you on another episode or I know you're releasing your own podcast soon yeah. um so I'm sure you're sharing more about your story there um which I definitely want to know more about. So if you haven't recorded episodes like that, please do, because I'd just love to know how the numbers found you and how it kind of guided you here. Um, so yeah, maybe one for the future, if not if not on your own podcast. When is that being released? Um, in the next couple of weeks, so I'll tag ah, you in. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much.